Hey everyone, Gavin from Paddle here, and I'm super excited to share with you our latest product for app developers called Hosted Checkouts. It's a low-code solution that lets you build an external web checkout that you can link out to from your app when users are making in-app purchases. The best part is it's completely hosted by Paddle, doesn't require very much coding on your part. You can configure it right from the Paddle dashboard, and it spits out a URL that you can then use to build an external purchase button as part of your in-app purchase flows. So let's jump right in. We're here in the Paddle dashboard, and the very first thing that I need to do is create a product that exactly maps the pricing that you specify in your app's paywall. So I'm going to go into Catalog and select Products. I'm going to create a new product, and we're using a yoga test app here. So I'm going to call it Yoga Test and save the product. Now, here's where I actually set up the pricing for this. I'm going to select New Price, set it at a reasonable $6.99 USD, and uh, just quickly give it an external, an internal description, description so I know what it is. Now, from here, we actually want to save the price ID because that's actually what we're going to use as a parameter in our app along with the link to the checkout that we're about to create. So now that we have the pricing done, I'm actually going to go to checkout and select hosted checkouts in order to actually start creating and configuring our web checkout that we're going to link to from the app. So I'm going to click New Hosted Checkout. I'm going to call it Yoga App Checkout. And here is where I actually specify the redirect link. What this is, is after the user goes to the web checkout and completes their purchase, this link is where they we tell the web checkout to redirect the user to after they've completed the purchase. So in this case, I'm going to create, I'm going to put in the link that sends them back to our yoga test app. But in your case, you would just put in the link that sends them back to your app. So I'm gonna hit create. And now we actually have the URL for our very first uh, external web checkout that we can use on our app. So I'm gonna copy that link and save it somewhere. Now, the next step basically involves you going into your actual app and in your purchase page, creating a button that says external purchase or something along those lines. There you just pass the parameter for the price ID as well as the link to the external checkout that we just created. And Paddle basically takes care of the rest in terms of payment flows, redirecting the user back to app, your app and everything like that. If you're using Revenue Cat and Paddle's integration, entitlements and unlocking the actual purchase in the app is completely taken care of. But in the case that you have your own custom setup, you can use webhooks on top of this uh, web checkout that we made to pretty easily unlock the purchase features in your app. Now, let's watch the external web checkout that we just created in action with an actual in-app payment flow. So I have here our yoga test app, and we're on the home page. So navigating to the paywall, we can actually find our save 30% on web button where we've actually embedded the URL that we generated when we were creating our external web checkout on the Paddle dashboard. So navigating down to that, clicking save 30% on web, and we find that the link takes us out into Safari and takes us to the web checkout that we just created. Now, one thing that's really cool is Apple Pay and Google Pay are enabled right out of the box with Paddle. So that's going to be the easiest option for most users. I'm going to follow that here. Click Pay, verify my transaction, and wait for it. Boom, there we go. Purchase complete. Now, this is where the redirect URL that we specified earlier when we were setting up our checkout comes in. Whatever that URL is, um, when the user actually hits open in this dialog, that box that opens, that is where 
the web checkout will redirect the user to. So in our case, this was the yoga test app. I'll go ahead and hit open. And when we navigate back to the app, we find that the features that we just purchased are now unlocked. Now, if you're a Revenue Cat user, as well as a Paddle user, all of this was done automatically through entitlements. But if you have a custom system, this will be done through those custom webhooks that I was talking about earlier that you set up. So hitting continue, now we're back in the home screen, we have our premium plan, and we've just had our first successful external web purchase using Paddle hosted checkouts.